All right, we're in physics class, and it's uh, the, anyone know what the date is? Uh, 10th. Yeah, December 10th. Wow. Okay. So we're rolling right, al right along. If you would look at the day one notes, we're going to be in day one again. Groundhog Day, we just keep repeating day one. So every time you come in here for the rest of your life, I'll put this problem on the board now. Oh. But at least for today. So this is where we were yesterday. But we had more than this. We had gone a lot more. Does anyone prefer to work with two colors? I can hand you those quickly. Anyone? You all right? That was for training. All right, you got your two colors. All right, so you want two colors, they're right there. Get up and get them when the time comes that you need them. We were doing the hard, so I'm going to still work in two colors. So we already, to add these, in, this, is, um, this is called translational equilibrium. Can you recall, without looking, your notes are in front of you, can you recall without looking at them, we divided translational equilibrium into two equilibriums. What was the still one or what was the moving one or both? Brandon. Um, static equilibrium. All right, so that's still. And the other one, Emily two. Um, oh, you were going to say static, Emily one? Dynamic. Dynamic, good memory. Yeah. All right, or good peaking, one of the two. All right. So this, remember that I said you'd hear about this on the first day, and then they have like three test questions on it. So I'll try to keep it in front of you every once in a while so you'll remember it. What we have here is in static equilibrium. It is not moving at a constant velocity. It's just still. So in this problem, we want to know the tension on the wires. So I have T1 and T2. So I call the one on the right T1 and the one on the left T2. We did this problem by breaking it into, first we recognize tension is always away from the object. Drawing arrowheads will help you with your components. So I put the arrowheads away from the object that's being suspended. I think I did red for horizontal. And so there's two horizontal and there are three vertical. Any questions on where we're getting these things? <clears throat> All right, let's name them using trig. Um, can you start us off, Brian? What would be the name of this one? The blue one right here. Do you remember how we named it? Um, yes, it was uh, T1 sine of 30. Right, okay, around, around the room then, name this one for me, Brandon. It's the horizontal part. Right. T1 cosine theta. Right. Theta. All right. Then there was a little <laughs> trick that we encountered with the 40. Alex, what happened over here? You take the vertical one. You take the vertical one. And what was its name? Oh, it's no, it's one. It's force. If it's <gasps> I'm looking for a name like this. He's got uh, have it's uh, T2. And what okay. trig function? It is cosine. Now verticals, no, verticals are always it's sine. Still sine and the, and the horizontals are always cosine. cosine. But we can't use 40, and that's the trick. Yeah. Do you remember what we used instead of 40? We used... Because we're thinking of this on a coordinate plane, the x, y axis. So instead of being 40, 40 would be over here somewhere. Yeah. So really, in uh, this should be called what? Pardon? One twenty. Almost. This is one eighty, but I stopped forty short of hitting one eighty. One forty. Right. So we have to do that kind of calculation when we're on this quadrant over here. So one forty works. All right, Emily. Three. What's the name of the horizontal force on this side? Um, T two. Right, T2 cosine 140. All right, you have to come up with these parts all. Oh, there's one more. Uh, Zach, we, I forgot what I was doing. Downward and negative. 
49. Right, and where'd you get that? Well, you plug 5 kilograms because that's your all the mass. Right. To your weight, weight, which is weight. Right. Equal to weight is mg, so you just multiply it by 9.8. We notice it's downward, so I gave it the downward sign. And that's in newtons. All right, so what do we do with all the reds and all the blues, Emily, too? You make them, you combine all the reds and all, all right. the blues, because sum of the forces equal zero. All right, sum of the forces equal zero, and I'm going to do the, uh, let me do, I don't usually start with the horizontal, so I should be in pink. So, color, color coordinated here. Alright, so starting in pink, I notice I have T2 cosine 140 is one of the horizontals, so I'm working horizontally, and I'm going to add it to the other horizontal, and that equals zero, and we had some numbers there. Could you fill me in on those, uh, Emily, one? What was cosine 140? Um, Did we do that? Yes, yeah, we, you, we worked the whole part of it, so. Okay. Um, T2 is negative 0.77. Negative point seven what? Seven. Seven. All right. And cosine thirty is um, as well, Emily one. Point eight seven. All right. All right. And cosine okay. So I'm gonna move T two. Now we're gonna solve that as far as we can. I put the point eight seven in front as a coefficient and move this to the other side where it becomes positive. I will also put the coefficient in front. So T1 equals, if Emily 1, if you would divide for me, 0 0.87. I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.87. Um, we got 0 0.89. 0 0.89 T2. Mm -hmm. All right, that's as far as we go. We hit a dead end. It'll be very useful in a few minutes once we get to a point on the blue side. Now we switch over to the vertical side. And we're going to gather all the up and down forces. So we had T2 sine 140 and T1 sine 30 and a negative 49. Again, some of the forces equals 0 MA because we are in equilibrium. It equals 0. There's no acceleration. So I'm going to set them equal to 0. Did we have sine of 140 yesterday, Brian? I don't forget how far we went on this. I think we got to that. Did we finish it? No. Yeah, okay. No, no we I think we got we did that. this next step. Well, okay. That's why. Point six four. Point six four. Yeah. I'll put it out in front. And sine of thirty, I know, is point five. All right. So I'm going to move the forty nine over, and. And you said this is about as far as we got, is that right? Did we get this far yeah. yesterday? Okay. Now it's time for crossover. We do not, we can't solve this because it has two unknowns, but we have some important information on the red side. So we're going to go over there and we're going to grab from the red side that everywhere there's a T1, I can replace it with a 0.89 to T2. So here's my T1. And I'm going to go in and do that magic and put in a 0.89 T2. So doing that, I get 0.64 T2 plus 0.5. When I get to T1, that's where I put in a 0.89 T2. They divide they divide by your side. Should you add them? 4.9. We can't add these. Oh, yeah. These are like terms. Yes. Okay. So if you would, multiply. Brandon, multiply 0.5 times 0.89. And what's that? I have to skip okay. steps in my notes so I don't have every single number. Wait, wait, wait. 0.5 times 0.89 is what? What's 0.445? 0.445. Okay. Alright, 0.45 T2. And we have a 0.64 T2. So, Brandon, also add. Point six, now they're like terms, so I want to add 0.64 plus 0.45. 1.09. 1.09. 1.09. 
1.09, T2 equals 49. So Alex, you get the grand finale step. Yeah. So what is, side. so you're going to divide both sides by 109. And what did you get? It equals 44 point, oh, you can round it up to 45. Anyone, anyone checking that as we go? Yeah, I got, I got that. Okay. All right, 45, T2. All right. All right, well, T2 equals 45, so we need T1. So let's go back over here, where we know T1 is going to be 0.89 times 45. So I guess it wasn't the grand finale. This is uh, the grand finale. So I got it. I got you. Right. So you got it, Alex. Okay. Yeah. It equals forty point zero five. So forty. Forty point zero five. Uh, forty. I'll say forty. 40. Yeah. All right. So forty newtons and forty five newtons. So this forty should be in significant digits. I've seen somebody do that once, so I don't know if that, I could put a dot here and I, or I could write it in scientific notation to indicate the two significant digits. Alright, that's it in all of its glory. So, let's see if you can, if I leave that one up, if you can do one on your lonesome, at least get it started. Do you want me so to keep the video you, on? Or how are we doing on time? We have 30 seconds. All right, yeah, this is a good <laughs> break. All right. Bye.